Hey guys, this is Aaron. Um, I want to look at a tool in SketchUp that I don't think is probably used as often as it could be, and that is guidelines. Um, I have this plate here, this, this piece, and what I want to do is I want to put some holes in it. Um, I'm going to say that I need a hole at the inside corner, each of these. I need one at the middle of this bottom line, and then I need a big one in the center. So what I might do to find those, those uh, exact locations of where those intersections are, I might actually just create some lines. So this is what, uh, this is actually probably how I would personally go about it, and this is not the best way to do it. So I'm going to start by showing you the more complicated way to do it, and then we'll look at taking advantage of guidelines to make it an even easier process. Um, at this point, I said I need, I need one at the intersection down here at the center too. And then this middle circle, I actually want lined up not with the center of this line necessarily, but the center of this outside edge, which actually ends up kind of becoming the same thing. All right, so once I do all that, I'm going to come in with my circles and I'm going to put my... Uh, put my circles where I'm going to put these holes in. So again, this wasn't a lengthy, difficult process. This actually went pretty quick. It wasn't hard to do or anything like that. Um, but the issue comes in now when I go in to clean up. So if I go to push-pull this circle down, grab push-pull, I'm going to drag it, I'm going to use the opposite edge for reference, and see what happens? One quarter of my circle got pulled down because of these lines. So not a big deal, I can double click on each of these pie wedges. Double click, of course, offsets the same amount as the previous command, but I have to do it four times. And now I have additional cleanup to do. So look at all these extra lines. I gotta come in here and delete these lines around the outside. And then I gotta smooth out these lines here. So I gotta hold down Alt or Option to go around and clean up all four of these lines on the inside. Now, of course, I know what you're saying. You're, well, what if I delete the lines first? Yes, I can come in here with my eraser, delete all these extra lines, and then use push-pull to drag those down. That is, that is obviously cleaner than what I did before, but it's still a lot of extra work. So how can I get those reference lines, those, those points of reference in there, without drawing a bunch of lines that I have to clean up? And the answer, of course, is guides. That's why we're here. So I'm going to go to File and Revert. If you don't know this command, Revert is going to take the model back to the last place I saved. So if I click Revert, it's going to say I'm going to take you back just like when we came in. And now I'm going to turn on the Tape Measure command. Now, Tape Measure actually does two things. One is it does let you check the distance between two points or two lines. Um, if the icon has that little dashed line with a plus at the bottom, that means it's ready to put in a guideline. Tapping the Alt or Option key will actually toggle between just the standard drawing a dimension and drawing a guideline. So with the little plus dashed line at the bottom, I'm going to click on an existing line and drag. And look what happens. The little dotted line follows me. I'm going to place it where I want. I want it right here. And again, I want to do the same thing on each of the sides. You can already tell. Look how much quicker this is going than when I had to draw the lines. Definitely a quick process. I'm going to pull one off the middle here to the center here. Where's my middle point? There it is. So I can do that with existing lines. I can click and drag. If I want to actually draw a line, I can do that too. So I can click to a point and I can actually, if I click on a point that's not an existing line, I start drawing a, drawing a guideline. So this tool works exactly the same way as Draw Line does, but when it's done, rather than getting an actual line, you just get a reference point. So great tool. It's kind of a, uh, one of those tools that has a whole bunch of different functions in it. So now that I have those guidelines in there, I'm going to go to my circle command and put my holes in. So just like I did last time, I'm just going to click around here, draw each of these in. The first one was a little small, wasn't it? All right, I'll clean that up in a second. And there we go. Same thing I had before. I was kind of just arbitrarily picked that size. Now the cool thing is, when I come in here, 
no matter how many guides I have across here, it's not going to interfere with my geometry. So when I pull this down to the bottom side, I don't have to worry about getting those other pie wedges. See that? I can just double click, double click. It goes all the way through. Those lines don't actually break the surface. This is nice because I don't have to worry about cleaning up. The other thing that's really nice about guides is they're not actually lines. I can interact with them. I can do things like I can grab a guideline and move it. Um, I can modify the guidelines. If I want to do something like rotate it, I can do that. I can interact with it just like it's a regular line, but it doesn't break geometry. And it has its own view status. So in here under view, I can actually toggle guides on and off. This isn't a matter of like hiding geometry or hiding a group. If I go into hidden geometry, my guides don't show up again. They're actually something different. So guides actually are their own entity type for toggling on and off in view. The other thing that's nice about them, so if I want to get rid of them, I can come in here and use my erase command to get rid of them. Or if I want, I can come up here to the edit menu and click delete guides. That's going to wipe all the guides out of my entire model. So you can see that that was a much cleaner way to do it. So that's an example of using guides with the tape measure tool. Thank you.